Welcome back. It is time for you and me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God's Word. My name is Kerry Green. Hey, have you ever seen one of these videos? There's a lot of them on YouTube that try and demonstrate what is called a perpetual motion machine. And what does that mean? Well, it's this debate that's been going on in physics for years and years and years of can there be a machine created that continues to move without any outside interference once it started? And the argument is, well, yes, it should theoretically be able to happen, but it just cannot happen because you can't create energy that is self-sustaining. That's the whole argument from physics. But here in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 15 through 16, we are going to learn about God's perpetual growth machine. And I'm talking about growth of the church and growth of the people in the church. Now, it's perpetual in the sense that it continues to build itself up, but there is a catch. There is a condition, just like a perpetual growth machine. There has to be continual work and effort put into it, and we're going to get into that in just a moment. Before we do, though, I want to say thank you to a handful of people who have become Morning Mindset supporters, partners is what we call them, over the last few weeks. There's been Leslie and and I and Sam, thank you very much for becoming partners with the Morning Mindset. If you would like to be a monthly partner for as little as five dollars a month, you can do so by going to morningmindsetmedia.com/partner. Okay, friends, let's pray that the Lord will help us understand today His perpetual growth machine and our part in it. Lord Jesus, we are grateful that you reveal the way your spiritual economy works inside this thing you've created called the church. All of us who have placed our faith into Jesus are a part of your church, but we have to contribute something in order for the church to be everything you intend it to be. So show us today what that is and what we need to do each as individuals to step into your blessing in this area. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, we're in Ephesians chapter 4. We're continuing our Christian behavior series, and we're looking right now at this issue of how all of us who have placed our faith in Jesus Christ have been placed into what Jesus calls the church. And the Apostle Paul uses an analogy here to help us understand the church. And his analogy is the human body. He's saying like there's a head to a human body. That's like Jesus, the control center, so to speak, the one in charge. There's also hands, there's elbows, there's ligaments, there's muscles, there's toes, there's kidneys. I mean, all these body parts. And he's saying like the human body, the church is made up of many parts. They're called people. That's you and me. And he says in verse 16 of Ephesians 4, from Jesus, the whole body is joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped. So he's saying we all are parts of the body. And then when each part is working properly, it makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. So friends, this is kind of like a plant, you know, a plant has all the equipment it needs to build itself up, to grow itself. It has roots to pull in the nutrients. It has leaves to pull in the sunlight and the photosynthesis happens. It has everything it needs to continue growing in and of itself in the right conditions when that plant is working properly. Now, sorry to change the metaphor on you there from a human body to a plant, but I think it's helpful for us to recognize there are things in our world that function exactly like Paul is describing here. And we, as members of this larger organism or body called the church, have a part to play. We contribute to the growth of the church. And I'm not just talking about numerical growth. I'm talking about spiritual health and spiritual growth, the kind of fruit that we produce. By all means, it's going to be new people coming to faith in Jesus in some respects, but it's also going to be things like the fruit of the Spirit that we see in Galatians chapter 5, love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and gentleness and faithfulness and self-control. Nobody creates laws against those things, and the church is the place where all these things come out of, supernaturally, as Jesus helps us do our work. So friends, I want to challenge you, first of all, to get involved in a local church and alongside other people in the church, discover what your gifts are and what it is you can do to help the church grow, both spiritually speaking and numerically. And then secondly, I want to ask you to consider 
how you can be encouraging others to do the same thing, whether they're in your own family, in your own community. How can you reach out to someone and encourage them to become a part of God's perpetual growth machine? Lord Jesus, we are just so overwhelmed that you would call us into this thing called the church and that through the church, you're advancing what you call the kingdom of heaven. And Lord, we want to do our part, but we need your help. We need your wisdom. We need your strength. We need the power of your Holy Spirit. So empower us today to do our part. We want to do so because we want you to look good and your plans in this world and in history to advance. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Well, before we wrap up, I have a few things to let you know about. First and most importantly, if you would like to find out how you can become a believer in Jesus Christ, a Christian, a true Christ follower that has nothing to do with religion, go to morningmindsetmedia.com slash meet Jesus. You'll find that link in the description for this episode. Also, at the beginning of the episode, you heard me thank some new partners to the Morning Mindset. If you would like to become a monthly supporter for as little as $5 a month, and receive my bonus podcast, Digging Deeper. You can find out more by going to morningmindsetmedia.com slash partners. <laughs>